is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger. She thinks she is fairly important in the grand scheme of things. She tends to think before acting. She is rarely happy or enthusiastic, and she is conflicted by this as she values parties and merrymaking in the abstract. Wow, this shit gets deep. Like, I'm not... I do want to read through the rest of it, but I, I do want to, like, keep going at the moment. I'll read this through later. But, wow, okay, that, that gets intense about each individual. That's back to the overview. I guess this is what she's got on. It's good to know she's got two socks, two shoes. Um, very interesting. Health. Okay. Skills, rooms... No study, no quarters. Okay, so none of it's personalized yet, but it might be able to be. We'll do available tasks anyway, so you can prioritize them. Cool. Okay, so I don't know what they're doing. They're getting around. But just before I keep reading this thing, I'll just put down more beds. Let's see, furniture. I just want to make sure everybody has something they can sleep on. Even though there's only... There's only 10 beds. My intention is that since they seem to interchange beds, there should be at least half of them getting to have a sleep at a time, you know? Uh, I guess you can choose. Oh, yeah, you can choose the closest material. It's kind of cool. Few more beds to put down. God, I love this music. Like, like I said, it's like Rimworld crossed with Diablo, crossed with Age of Empires. It's really good. Uh, okay. So, what just happened? Did I run out of beds? Is that what happened? Or was it just blocked? Yeah, okay, so I'm out of bed. So that must... Okay, well, obviously it's 10. Good on me, mass. <laughs> okay, so that's fine. They've got 10 beds. That's a start. I like the colours, though. Yeah, the red and black's very nice. The green, pinky purple sort of shades. Very nice. Okay, so I've done this. So I can hit OK. What is that? It's alert. Important that sometimes urgent information is given as alerts. On the left side of the screen, there have been given several already. Or oh, Azula, don't don't antagonize him, he's sleeping. No, he's too about to get cranky. Because Azula wants to sleep on the soft fuzzy thing, but Phoenix is already on it, and Phoenix hates her sleeping with him. What's up, Grim? Didn't see you sneak in there. I'm busy reading all these tabs. Oh my god, they're sitting next to each other and they're tolerating it. So cute. Um, okay, so this alert off to the side. Okay, so hover over an alert icon to see the information. Left click on the alert for a uh, recentering option. Right click to dismiss the alert. Alright. So you can recenter certain act announcements. Uh, right click to close this is an example of an urgent alert these are very important ignore them at your peril okay I do appreciate them not smacking me with an actual alert situation I do like the fact that in this tutorial they are actually only giving me like hey this is an example you know because that's very cool so dismiss, dismiss this large one so what did I have to do with it I had to hover over an alert left click on it to recenter right click to dismiss so I did that it didn't ah there we go okay so I just got to right click on it so all these have been popping up too okay so animals are growing wait are they growing stray interesting thank you muni key lord really appreciate the follow and uh, by the way, welcome into um, my dwarf fortress. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I've been trying to read through this. I haven't watched a single thing in advance to actually playing this game. I literally just opened it this morning, adjusted the sound settings and made sure it was windowed and off we went. Um, let's see, preparing for the, for the caravan. Okay, you need supplies before the coming w of winter to trade with the autumn caravan. You must build a trade depot from the build menu. You may need something of value to trade. Craft an easy way to make a lot of trades good goods quickly. Uh, make appropriate workshops with the workshops crafts. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't been pausing. And I know it said initially, it's like, you should be pausing between this. And I'm like, I haven't been pausing at all. <laughs> um, I'm probably like, I don't know where the day timer is on this yet. Maybe this, but I'm probably clocking up like, like they've gone to sleep like three or four times now. So I think it's been like three or four days that it's taken me to read this far so far. But I am on number eight, I think, of this tutorial. Let's see. Obviously, an obvious material to use to make crafts is rock. If you dig down enough layers, you'll find a never, sorry, a near infinite amount of boulders of various kinds, as well as some rough gems, if you are lucky. Okay, so you can get gems and stuff too. It's kind of cool. Uh, gems can be cut at the jeweler's workshop and cross them on crafts and other items to add even more value. Oh, sweet. I was actually curious whether or not it might add like magical properties like sometimes if you have certain gems in Diablo you know and you you imbue them into something it like makes them special but if it just gives them more value that's kind of cool too okay so it's flashing here so there's a lot more to learn as you enter new menus there will be information and tips the help button at the top of the screen contains more guides click it now and this tutorial will be concluded all right there we go so the game is open-ended and you can do whatever you choose. If you'd like gold, try to become a barony, then a mountain home. Okay, so there's like ambitions to this. Uh, more likely your dwarves will starve unless you read the first few guides here. Oh my god, I do need to pause. <laughs> um, and uh, remember, losing is fun. <laughs> I beg to differ, but we'll see how I feel about that when it happens. Um, interactive tutorials. So I did all those just then, and I can have extra ones. Uh, that will be good. So let's click off that. So there goes the tutorials baseline, and I'm not sure if I paused or not. How do I know? Okay, okay, there we go. It changes over to pause when I'm pause. So I'm just going to leave it paused for a second. Go see what the world above me, if I scroll the right direction. There we go. So, so what have my people been up to? I know one of them was like 70. She could be like 80 by now. I don't know. This chick's... No, that's a dog. That's not a dog. I was like, man, that's an old looking four year old. Look at her. But apparently she's uh, flicking between the dog and a lady. Okay, so... I'm gonna straight up just chop down a few of these trees that are just in the area. Hey, a turtle. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna affect things. What's this? So a pond turtle shell and hamster remains. Right. Sputtering of hamster blood. Okay, so that's actually blood. I thought that might be like an X or something on it. That must be what blood looks like in this game. These are these hamsters yeah fascinating okay so this is kind of like where I'm starting and I'm slowly getting used to how this mouse wheel like flies me around places um, and to my knowledge it seems reverse so if I scroll my mouse wheel up we're going up the trees and I guess that makes logic now that I actually said it out loud but if I scroll down <laughs> I scroll down into that actually makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think it made sense until I just said it. Um, okay, so let's go back up to the surface. So I'm not sure. If I hold down control, I can kind of come in a bit more controlled here. What is this? This thing's... What did I click on? What is this thing? It's 
the the pet. It's a kit. And I, I'm gonna guess that's its name because they have some really wild names in here. Like this is kind of like, you know, not casting like name shaming or anything like that, but whatever. But like when you get some of the like extremely foreign names, um, like Finnish, Swedish kind of names, can't pronounce them for shit. Um, what is this thing? A worm? The worm is like the same size as their louse, their ticks. That's really concerning. Can you imagine a tick the size of a worm? Um, that also happens to be about the size of a cow's head by the look of it. So it's a stray water buffalo. So I did notice I had some things over here. So let's see, left click to recenter. Uh, if I click on this, let's see, you've struck. Okay, so it says what kind of materials I've come in count with. I still don't know what this button is. It's a downward stairway. Okay, so that must have been what I found when I was digging. Okay, so left click. Oh, it just always says left click. Um, it has started raining. I noticed that. Um, the weather has cleared. It is now summer. Wasn't it spring when we started? That's kind of going fast. They also continue to move around, I noticed, while it's paused. Uh, so, animal has grown to become a stray hen? Oh, maybe I was supposed to keep these things tamed. Uh, so focus on like the food and drink to get through the first winter. Yeah, see, I'm not sure how to find food and drink just yet. So I'm going to be probably coming back to that tutorial in a moment. And I also think that these animals that have become strays, I'm thinking that because I wasn't paused while I was reading all of that text, um, I may have just lost spring. The in, However long spring is, it looks like it's like the ninth of late summer. And that's concerning because we really only now have like autumn left. Uh, let's see, you can recenter. I better start reading that first line. Uh, some migrants have arrived. Okay, so we got some more people by the sounds of it. I'm pretty sure it said I was sent out with 10, 20? 20 people? Uh, oh yeah, that was a urgent alert. Alright, so I'm guessing this thing's like urgent and that red one's like dangerous. <laughs> or they're all gonna die, that's for sure. I, I don't even know yet. Like, I chose... I think it was a hundred days, a hundred years cycle or something. So I don't know if that means like as if it's kind of like a dating sim game where you have a hundred days to achieve something or if it's a hundred days for that year or something. I'm not sure, but it's very interesting. Um, I should unpause them so they can cut down some trees, but what are these? Is this a ginkgo? Uh, tree saplings. You gotta move. Why have you gotta move? Oh yeah, it's gonna. You gotta make coffee for yourself. I've actually got an energy drink today. Yesterday was so hot here. I actually, by the end of my stream yesterday, I felt physically weak and ill, and I ended up um, going and laying down in the air conditioning, and I passed down until like six thirty at night, from like two or three or something. Let's see. This is mux melon leaves. I'm guessing this might be a cabbage. Uh, so I needed to designate space for animals and bodies. So they did say something about, um, was it if you have the refuge, like rubbish refuse. Let's see. So stockpiles. So I'm guessing if I make a stockpile. Oh yeah, I gotta click that. And so if I make this in here. I hit accept. And let's see, refuse. But if I only click that one, what if I hit none? Does it only allow me to click one thing at a time though? Can I hold down shift? No? Control? No. Okay, so it must be like all or one or none is kind of like it. So I'm gonna have a little refuge thing here. Uh, oh yeah, you got corpses and stuff, that'd be what you're talking about. Um, so, if that's the case, maybe I can make this one 
or is it kind of like cleaner to keep the corpses outside? Oh yeah, 11. Uh, it's only just after 11 today. Keep them outside, yep, it will do. All right, so let's see corpses. I'm gonna move you up a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna put it over here. Oh wait, whoops. No, the, the thing inside, I want to be that uh, rectum. This one. So if I choose over here, I can't remember what time I got up today. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain I woke up like stupidly early at like five and briefly like looked into the sunlight and was like, eh, and like rolled over. Um, but that was kind of it. There we go. Oh yeah, it's got it's got what it is. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I ended up getting back up at like, oh, it was minus eleven. Oof. Jeez, we don't even like where I am in Australia. We get like minus three. It's kind of like generally speaking, the maximum we get in winter is minus three. Um, but the rest of the time it's kind of like it swings between like that kind of like 18 degrees through to like high 20s most of the year um, and in summer it kind of goes into when it starts getting into high 30s I start getting sick just because I've got like just I'm generally pretty anemic um, so I get sick really really easily and even though I have um, iron supplements and stuff which I've been taking for about a year now um, it doesn't work all the time it doesn't it's not a fix-all kind of situation um, they were trying to investigate like trying to see if there was a reason why I kept having anemia because um, like obviously I can't I'm just hit play um, I can't eat a lot of meats and stuff because my Crohn's makes me really unwell, but at the same time, like I can eat certain red meats like kangaroo, which we've got some kangaroo steaks tonight, which I'm going to do up kind of like a proper beef steak, you know, and some butter and some stuff. Um, and yeah, basically everything in Australia is trying to kill you. We have got that hole in the ozone or whatever over where we are in Queensland. And it's just, it's brutal when it's hot and sunny. It's extreme UV. There is no... There's no in between. You are burning to a crisp and dying outside or, you know, <laughs> you're fine because you're inside. And kangaroo meat's not that bad. It's, it can be a little bit like tough and gamey. I'm not sure what they're doing with this caravan. And I thought I made a storage place. Do they get stuck in ground? Does anybody know if they get stuck in ground in winter? Can they get back out to their wood or do I have to take that downstairs? Pause again. What is this? Set plant and gathering orders. Okay. Gather food and leaves. What does this do? Choose corners. Uh, so if I click this thing, is this thing a plant? Yeah, it looks like it. It's a root. This thing looks like a plant. It's a turnip. Um, I wonder if I can over harvest at all. Oh yeah. I don't really have a lot of space, no. Um, oh, come on, click on that. Can I click on that? Yeah? No? Okay, that's not food apparently. Um, I'm gonna make a second sort of storage bit just on another level downstairs. Just clicking to see what we've got in the way of food. Rat weed. Now that does not sound appealing at all. Okay, people go for it. Uh, let's go downstairs. So this is like the all storage, and I just made a second all storage, and it's clearly not enough. I made this for like wood, but they ended up putting like everything in it. I do want to put like little, I don't know, shops, uh, crafting thingies in here. So since I've got all these stupid staircases, which I don't know how to remove yet, I've tried. I don't know how to remove it. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go down another level. Uh, I don't know if they have to get rid of this boulder or if that's actually in the way. But I mean, I'll, I'll figure it out. So I'm gonna go 
kind of want to go more towards this way this time to have like its general can they go off this side or is it oh shit yeah okay you do that it's raining i do like the um i do like the ambience very nice let's go and do this and I might make a few rooms up off this. I kind of don't want it to be right next to the staircase. I'm not yet certain how that affects it, but I'll find out. I'm going to make this big storage. And maybe over here, a bigger storage. Let's see how that goes. Oh, yeah. I swear, I don't know what's wrong with my Nightbot. I've tried... Um, I've tried fixing it a couple of times, so I'm just going to disable some stuff so it doesn't pop up all stream. There we go. I set it up that I can command it now from my phone, so when I'm streaming stuff, I don't have to, like, make you guys wait while I troubleshoot something. Because nobody wants that. Alright. So I'm going to dig out this, and when they're done, I'm going to make this maybe, like, a big all storage down here and I don't know maybe wood um wait where's the say I'm out of drink oh no drinks how do I make drinks uh go back up does it say where I can make drinks place zones meeting establish borrows oh yeah these are those minecraft thingies I was seeing High and low traffic areas. So that's gathering plants, but I don't really have anywhere for that to go. What's this? Uh, dumping certain items. All right. So time to crack open the tutorials. Meadery. All right, brewery or meadery. I'll just grab this open too, um, just because I am playing this through for the first time sort of reading everything out so people can also understand what's going on. Uh, will you show me other food sources? I don't know if it's food. Let's let's check out survival. Um, in order to keep the citizens alive in an unforgiving wilderness, they would need shelter, drink, food, and yarrow at the top of this window. Minimize the tutorial when it occurs. Okay. So shelter. By now they should have a room underground where your residents can hide from the creatures above, which they do. Uh, to make sure they spend their free time down there, you will need to use the zones menu to create an eating area. Later you may try to use borrows menu to create a safe place for your civilians to hide. Real trouble comes. Okay, that's interesting. So labor. Some essential tasks must be assigned from the labor menu. Click here and make sure, okay, so it's over here. So click here and make sure you have the miner, woodcutter, and fish tool. Fish tool. Interesting. Um, if you haven't suffered any casualties, you should have these labors assigned already. But if one of these uh, brave workers falls, you'll need to assign somebody to their duties. Okay. All right. Huh. So what have they got? Only selected to do this. So is this locked? Okay, so they can all do mining by the look of it. Let's see. Ashma. Awesome. So what's the orderlies? Standing orders, kitchen. Kitchen must do food. Drinks. You have no appropriate ingredients. Good job. Okay, so that's not going to matter too much at the moment if that's the case. Obviously it does matter, but not that much. Uh, okay, so drinks. There are two ways to make drinks in your residence. The main way is by brewing alcohol. This is done by building a still from the build menu using the workshops. Okay, so let's go back down. Alright. So, building. Workshops. Okay, so we want, what is this still? That doesn't quite look like, maybe it's not a workshop. Constructions, machines, traps. Uh, 
have a click on each one and see what's in it. I don't think he has got farming and stuff. Cutting a leather, farming, brewer, ashery. Yeah, okay. So let's have a look in furniture. Wouldn't be that, but might as well open it, see what's in it. So doors, obviously not. Construction. Man, they've got some really intricate stuff in here, hey? Machine fluids. They've got floodgates. That ain't gonna do it. I mean, it's gonna do something. It's gonna get them hydrated, but not the right way. Um, rope and chains. Jesus. Oh, shit, I clicked off it. I'm back in. Military trade depot. Okay, what is that? Trade depot. No, I don't need that at the moment. So, where am I supposed to be going? Winner is still from build menu. Some workshops, farming. Okay, there we go. Again, there. Farming. Okay. So, here's a still. Put you here, because you're kind of like central. I don't think it matters what kind of wood, but I'm going to choose the one that's got the most, and that looks like it. Okay, so... Uh, once it's constructed, click on it, now the task, brew drink from plant or fruit. If you have no suitable plants, you may try planting or gathering. The task also requires a barrel from the carpenter's workshop. Okay. Oh, I can't move this. Um... I'll need to make a barrel, won't I? That's fine. Uh, let's see. That is the carpenter's one, right? So, uh, survive until the caravan comes. You may also trade for drinks or plants there. The number of drink rations can be seen at the top of the screen. Absent alcohol. Uh, what is it? Absent alcohol. And in warmer weather, you can designate a water source from the zones menu at the river or pond so that your residents can have water to drink. Uh, you'll want one of these anyway for other purposes like cleaning and uh, certain workshop tasks. You may find water underground. Okay. So we do have water underground but I'm not digging into that because I know I'm just going to flood myself like an idiot. So we'll go up and I'm going to try to designate water wherever that is on here. I probably should have kept that thing open. Water. What if I go into not oh, furniture workshops, farming, two farm pots, kitchen farmer? Hey, you can do beehives and stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna just throw a kitchen downstairs though. Uh, down. Throw that there. You can use cherry wood. And what is it? I need barrels. Uh, new task. Need some barrels. I, I don't know how many yet, so I'm just going to make about half a dozen. Just in case. There we go. Alright. And I hate that I have to like go back through here again because I stupidly didn't leave it open. But what was it that I'm doing with the water? Designate a water source from zones. Alright. So zones. Let's go not down. Go up. Okay. So zones. Uh, alright. Does this go through? No, it just takes me through levels. Ah, there. Water source. Alright, there we go. Uh, the clay area the painter's own. Righto, so let's chuck this like over here. I don't know how far it's going to go, but I'm just going to set there as a water source. I'll name water source. That should be fine. Uh, let's see, assign a new or existing location to the zone. I think the existing zone is probably fine. Um, and oh, I can do bedroom zones. So let's go back down. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, it is poor. So I saw them sleeping for a second there. I'm like, nearly shit myself. I'm like, what crap? Okay, so they can designate the water source where there is no water. I thought that was water. Let's go back up. Because this to me kind of looks like it's water over here in this like blue area. So I didn't know. 
but I also don't know if this area that's like here 